if you want Russian bees, you need to have a lot of time to manage them. And because they need to be managed, and it takes a lot of time to manage each colony, you're going to be limited on how many colonies you have. 16 is a 2018 queen that I bred directly from Foley's Russian Bees. I did it um, May of 2018 before the commercial beekeepers got in the area. So this queen has more Russian traits than anything else. And it's a real hassle. I've got like two or three queens right now left over from 2018 that are still doing the same thing. They didn't touch anything any of the honey down below. I, they're good at not eating a lot of honey. See? That was down in the, in the deep. But they don't go down in the deep to lay. They're laying up here in the medium that I gave them. And I, I did a reversal a week ago, or over a week ago, and I thought, okay, the bees are down below, and I didn't take the time to check to see if Queen was down there laying. So now I check them today and they've gone back up. There's no bees down below. So I'm getting frustrated with these. I'm going to have to take some medium frames out. I'm assuming the queen's laying. I haven't actually opened this yet. I'm going to assume the queen is in there and she's laying. We'll take a look. Hey, I'm not wearing a veil. And I do not have gloves. I work with electricity. This is not much different than electricity. Once in a while you get zapped when you don't really expect it. Same way with bees. You get stung, it hurts for a few seconds, and you move on. I hate it when they do that because they really don't want the bee to die. But when I used to wear leather gloves and a veil, I couldn't see what I was doing. And I've killed queens before because I couldn't feel what I was touching underneath my fingers and thumb. Now that I don't have gloves on, if I feel a bee, I can take my pressure off before I kill that bee. I couldn't do that with leather gloves. Okay, now let's see. What's going on here? There she is. This is a 2018 daughter of Foley's Russian Bees, and she does not follow all procedures and where she's supposed to lay. So I'm going to have to put this frame down here. I always make sure I know where the queen is at all times. And then I've got, I brought some uh, deep frames that I have stored and I'm going to put each one of these, see it's got some pollen and I'm going to put one on each side of that frame that I put, that medium frame I put in here. And you want to make sure you don't squeeze the queen in between the wax because your whole point is to save the colony. You kill that queen, that colony's done. Okay, now I got the queen in there and she's in between two frames so I can relax a little bit. Now I need to check, see, Walt, were they laying? Was she laying on, on these frames? I would imagine she probably was. Because I don't, if I put, I could leave this up in the medium above, dead center above the deep frames and hope that they would stay but you really don't always know what they're going to do. You think they're going to stay in some frames and they leave them. I've seen bees leave frames of brood before to go where the queen was and have that brood die. Especially with Russian bees. They're just a I had bees before I got involved with Russian bees. And Russian bees are a pain in the ass. I would never ever recommend Russian bees to anybody. They're not mite resistant. You might as well have Italians and use acetic acid to get rid of the mites because the Russian bees are not mite resistant. Look through my videos. I've got videos for the last three winters. Look what happened the first winter with Foley's Russian bees. I almost lost all of them. And good thing I had some Italians left over. And I bred some Italians with some of Russians, Foley's Russian bees. And I end up with hybrids, but the hybrids still have too much Russian in them. And I don't know if 
it's got to be the inbreeding. I wouldn't imagine that Russian bees in Russia are this bad. It's got to be the inbreeding that they're doing here in the United States. They seem to think they can take a certain few colonies that they claim are might resistant and keep breeding those colonies and not end up with an inbred stupid ass bee. Well, that's exactly what you're getting if you buy a Russian bee. I advise you to stay away from them. They're not worth the money. They're not worth the hassle and the extra time. <laughs> and I can't believe there's people on YouTube that are telling you, you know, they got videos on there. People have Russian bees telling you how great they are. And it's all a bunch of crap. They just think, oh, I have Russian bees. I have something special. You don't have anything special. You, you have something that isn't worth the time or the money. It's just a waste of time. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put this back together. Okay, thank you.